your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to you. It is a privilege to address such a distinguished audience, and I am grateful for the opportunity to speak directly to you. The vision of the Ethiopian Federal Minister of Defense is to maintain strong army that much public satisfaction and the trust in line with international standards. And our mission is to serve the country to ensure the observation of human rights, democratic rights, and to maintain the safety and the welfare of the public. I am delighted to be present here at the 60th Africa Security Symposium, which will focus on the latest innovation in technologies and in law enforcement training and equipping officers to meet the challenges of policing in the 21st century and to fulfill its declared themes toward this a safer Africa. The growth of technology, the, mobile, the mobilization of talents, and the development of pioneering products and applications would help achieve this target. In Ethiopia, we have always recognized the importance of adopting new technologies and advancing army training in order to combat emerging and existing threats on a national and, and regional scale. We need to develop a partnership to combat any existing or emerging threats and to develop strong training solutions to ensure operational army officers have all the tools they need. Law enforcement in parts of Africa is keeping peace using smart policing and harassing ICT such as social media, mobile applications to improve community relations and service provision. However, it is essential that we adapt and innovate in order to best serve law enforcement and protect the public. Designing the internal security strategies of our country and tackling cyber crime, terrorism, and organized and emerging crime is paramount A. Also, crime, cyber crime and cyber enabled crime are relatively new phenomena. Fraud is the old crime, but what is new is the scale of fraud which can be perpetuated by small networks of individuals using just their computers and other devices such as mobile phone. Several international partners have in the past collaborated with us. At the core of our existence is the principle that any country's international, internal security will hinge on crime criminal threat stretching out its border. That is why technology is needed for border control to fight economic crimes, particularly smuggling and other forms of illegal commerce, illegal immigration, trafficking and tracking fugitives. Uh, human trafficking is an old crime with a new aspect. Every day throughout the world, people seek employment far from their home to better provide for themselves and their families and fail prey to criminals who force them to travel situation and the, co and the, con and the conditions with the records or possibility of escape. Uh, increasing globalization and the technology such as social media have facilitated the recruitment and the exploitation by criminals of vulnerable people looking for economic opportunities. It is essential to use new technology 
in tailor-made trading activities on cyber-enabled crime and human trafficking and the thief, digital forensic and additional skills in criminal investigation. As many forms of crime become cyber-enabled and the evidence in routine investigations increasingly appears in electronic format, it is essential that investigators have an understanding of methods and the resources available. We are constantly looking for new ways to enhance capacities and the knowledge. Public-private partnership and international cooperation, cooperations are essential in order to obtain the necessary expertise information and the gather digital evidence. Another disturbing threat is that of terrorism. Groups such as Al-Shabaab will continue to use any methods at their disposal. Knives, strikes, guns, explosives, and so on. However, they are also accessing new materials and the capabilities. Our army forces should adapt tried and tested tools, database, notice, information exchange, and analysis to encounter the new threat. We have to adapt a new individuals involved in, tra in trafficking of radiological and the nuclear materials and the identification of biosecurity risks. This helps in order to counter the international smuggling of chemicals used in manufacturing of weapons designed to kill and injure indiscriminately. Last but not least, I thank GRV Global for their commitment and the continued efforts in holding this annual symposium. We are hoping that during these two days to build new connections and share resources, we can continue to evolve and serve our nations against the threat of transactional crime. Thank you very much for your attention. I thank you.